These are both giant. I'm not kidding. Is that Kevin? That's Kevin. So a buddy of ours named Kyle sent us in here to look for a bull that they got a chance at last year. And it looks like he probably blew up. He had a cheater on the right last year. He's at least got one on the left this year. We'll put the footage in here. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be great because I forgot my phone scope. But they're both shooter bulls. This bull is a 370 typical all day long. My good hell. He's a giant. I think he's 370 to 380. If not bigger. Um, the six point. The one that I can see right now is 380 plus. Yeah, he's a giant. I don't know which one I would shoot. I haven't seen the second bull yet. He's a giant too. <sighs> Getting the bull fever. <laughs> if I get the bull fever, they're big. I've seen a lot of elk. That bull is built like whole, like giant beams, giant fronts, seconds, thirds, giant everything. Especially his front end. He's long everywhere. See if you can get some video of him before I he gets in the thing. He hasn't moved. We have some time. Which one are we looking at here? They're both together. I don't know where the other one went. Sexy. There, there's Kevin out to the left. The flyer bull, probably. Just because I literally wanted a flyer bull on the way here and we don't see him all the time. And he's big. I just don't really like the big typicals that much. Well, then shoot the cheater bull. I'm just a sucker for non technicals. Alright, guys, well, we're up here glassing tonight. It's about five days before Nicole's hunt. Um, if you guys don't already know, but Nicole's actually pregnant, so. We've been a little bit worried about how this is going to play out. She's been super sick, but she's actually starting to do really good. So, just in time. But anyways, five days before the hunt, and we just glassed up two big bulls. Really big. The one's got like a 10 to 12 inch flyer out one side, and a 5 to 6 inch flyer out the other side on top of a really big frame. Kind of short beamed, but very heavy. Big bull. The other one's just a giant six point giant fronts and thirds and beams just a big old frame just wide so got some big bulls found so we're gonna go look in a different spot in the morning and then we're gonna come back here a day or two before the hunt and check in on these bulls the night before my hunt we got up on this glassing point to try and relocate those two bowls and spent the whole night up here glassing but they've decided to be a no-show so hunt starts in the morning we're gonna be back here and hopefully get a little more activity then but we're headed back to camp now get set up and have some dinner Opening day, Larry says, this is the lucky stuff. Right there. Now guaranteed, we just gotta kill a bull. Guaranteed to lead to a big hey. bull. <laughs> That's what Pappy always said, you gotta eat Captain Crunch and you'll have some good luck that day. I like it.
evening, morning, Larry and Nicole spotted these bulls at about the same time. Nicole was down the ridge whistling at us, and Larry's like, he's right there. And just pulled the scope up on him, and it looks like the really big typical, uh, most likely. So keep an eye on him and get some phone scope footage of him and see if we can decide what to do. Did you get my phone? All right guys, well, it's a little bit lighter now and it's actually not one of the two big bulls we were looking for. It's a really nice bull, but not the one we thought it was, but we're just getting some footage of him now, looking him over and making sure those other bull bulls aren't with him, but great start to the morning. He's wide. Sweet boy. He's not a shooter. Did the other one already go into the trees? Oh yeah, it's great footage. I was just thinking how cool it would be if one walked right under us right here and you just hammered him. This one, the two big ones step out. Well, now we've seen three. Yeah, three. Three and about five, five deer. That's a record. That's a record. Ties the record. We saw three that first night. Yeah, this bull's fronts just kind of go like straight out. Really? Yeah. Especially his second on the left. I think he'll be big in a few years. Yeah. He's looking behind him. Come on. Come on. Oh, there he is. Did you see him? Yep. Things are buddy. Yeah, he's got those fifths. We're going back up on the glassing point and there's another truck in here tonight, which isn't ideal, but hopefully we can still get on our bulls and not have too much competition on the same ones. So I always stress about that a little on public land, but it is what it is. It's a long hunt, so we'll make something happen no matter what. I'm gonna get up here and glass though. Just glassed up that bull on the way in. And I'm gonna get up here, gain some elevation, and overlook this stuff and see what we can find. What are we doing? We're gonna throw us some lunch on the on on the uh, engine right now. Warm us up some burritos. It's a little uh, redneck style. 
Got us some bean and cheese burritos. Throw them on the engine, drive down the road. About 30 minutes or so, you'll have a hot lunch. The, the Dodge doesn't have a burrito compartment? Yeah, it's kind of hard. Warm enough. I should do it. Yeah, that one for sure is going to get nice yeah. and crusty. Cool. Sweet. Give her about 30 minutes and hopefully we'll have some uh, hot burritos. Oh, dang. Holy crap, we did lose a couple of them. <laughs> did we lose them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, think they, I think we lost one for sure. Is it warm? It feels warm. It feels pretty warm. Fairly warm. Perfect. right here there's a couple big bowls over here that I've uh, I've learned through the years that bulls like to go up into this stuff and we're just gonna go see if we can take a peek over and see if we can find us a bull over there right now so that's the plan let's make it happen Got some pretty cool fronts. He does have big fronts, dude. Yeah, they're kind of cool looking up. Curl up a lot. I think he's just a mainframe five on that side. Good to see. It's day four. Um, Larry had to go home yesterday after the morning hunt. Um, now it's just me and Nicole and um, we've been getting our butts kicked the last, we're going on a day and a half without seeing a bull, looking over some great country, those big bulls we turned up before the hunt, we've been looking for every day, and no sign of them, so we went somewhere new this morning, uh, give it a little break, we'll probably go back there soon, but, just because we know there's two shooters there, but, so far everywhere else has been an absolute bust, just, nothing, I don't know if these bulls are just, hold up recovering from the rut or or what it is it's super thick and a lot of this stuff and you kind of at the mercy of the elk if they don't come out into the open you know you can't see them so but i just got up to a new glassing point that looks really good i'm probably going to sit here for 30 minutes to an hour and pick it apart it's late morning see what we can turn up and keep going we still have like 11 and a half days of hunting so Lots of time. Hopefully we can make it happen. It can be pretty tough with just two people on an elk hunt though. So we'll see what happens. Just keep covering country and hopefully turn up a shooter bowl. 
Also, huge shout out to Larry for coming out and helping. We really appreciate it. And um, if you guys didn't recognize him, we actually have a pretty awesome uh, film on our channel of his Nevada desert bighorn sheep hunt. It's called Full Circle. So uh, do yourself a favor and go check that out. It's freaking awesome. But anyways, thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. And can't wait till the next one. It is day number five. I hiked into this little spot that Larry showed us the other day and just instantly glassed up a group of five bulls. Um, they're all small, but I'll throw the phone scope on and show you guys what they look like. It's pretty cool lighting. So uh, Nicole's back on another point, glassing another direction. We're just kind of trying to divide and conquer, but. I just barely got here, so there easily could be more elk. So I'm gonna get some quick footage of these bulls and, um, and I'm gonna keep looking, so. Got the phone scope rolling. Turns out it's actually uh, six months. glassing and looking for those two big bulls we've been grinding it out in this spot feeling like we should be here it's day five of the hunt and it's been slow the bulls the elk have been nocturnal we haven't been seeing hardly anything we saw that 330s bull that nice six point with the smaller fifths like three days ago and that's the last decent bull we've seen it's been real slow i think this time of year they're pretty worn out and not moving much, worn out from the rut. But tonight we're out here glassing up on our point and we just glassed up a pretty sweet bull. He's not as big as the first two we found, but he's a really nice bull. I'm probably not gonna go after him tonight because we still have 11 days to hunt, but he's a really cool bull to see and brings back some serious morale that we've needed on this hunt, so. We're gonna watch him more and see if those other two bulls, the big boys, come out. Same flat they were in, so I gotta keep grinding it out and see what we see. He 
He's a pretty solid ball, honestly. He's not a shooter. Got a high third on the right. He's coming out into the middle now. Oh shit, is he having? Does he have an extra? Yeah, I think that high third raise, I think he had an extra. That looks like it. He's cool. He's badass. Are you sure he's not a seven on the right? That's a cool horn on that side, though. Mm -hmm. Another 350 bull passed. Looking for something a little bigger. I would shoot that bull on almost any other unit, but not one that takes this long to draw. Not a unit of this quality. So we're gonna pass him for now. Keep him in our back pocket towards the end of the hunt. If he's still there, we might take another look at him, but. Really hoping we run into one of those two big boys or something bigger in the next 11 days. So it's an exciting night though. Headed off this point before we freeze to death. See you guys tomorrow. Well, that bull from last night's back out. He's kind of just cruising through. He probably won't be out long, but. Fun to see regardless. It's a pretty bowl. Well, saw the same bowl twice. That's optimistic. Or promising, I guess. guys it's the morning of day seven um, only seen one bowl so far this morning just a small raghorn but just got the truck parked here we're cooking a little bit of breakfast just some bacon and eggs and then we're gonna uh, we found a new glassing point today so we're gonna hike into that um, it's a super short hike but we're gonna park the truck hike in and probably glass at least for three hours there and then if we like it we'll stay until dark if not we'll go back to our usual spot but still looking for the two big bowls or something new but we're found a new spot that kind of overlooks that entire valley where they were so and you can see a lot of it pretty good uh, pretty hopeful and uh I'll keep you posted breakfast is served When you're in the mountains, you have to cook your eggs in the bacon grease. It's like an unbreakable rule. There's nothing better.
pretty nice ground. Is it going in pretty good? It seems like it'd be pretty hard dirt. I got to start. That's what counts. And you can set up some sort of park screen. That well. That's pretty fast setup for such a big tent. Usually it takes a penny while. In there. Lucky penny. Yep. Got Ethan, Ruby Mountain Outdoors. Somebody had to come find Save it out. Save the day. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Go we'll check him out. Cole's gonna kill a big bull for sure now. Half now. Now we can actually go kill one. hunt we haven't filmed much the last week because there hasn't been much that's been happening we've been four and a half days without seeing an elk not one elk and we've been going hard all day we've even had some help come out we had ethan with ruby mountain outdoors show up a couple days ago he's been splitting up from us and helping cover more ground and we've had larry come out our good friend larry now we got derek and cody out today so we're getting a few people out here to up our chances of finding something. We got three days left in this hunt and we have five groups tomorrow. So we got five times the chance of finding a bull. So standards are definitely lower this weekend than they were the first. And we're just looking for a nice bull at this point so we don't go home empty handed from this hunt. So we're going to hunt hard and try and stay positive after a long grind. It's a 15 day hunt. We scouted a few days before that. So we have been out here for about 15 days straight now and it's been an absolute grind, but you only get one chance to hunt these elk here in Nevada as a non-resident sometimes and you got to make the most of it. So we're giving it all we've got and hoping we get some luck. These elk are not moving, but a little luck three more days a group of people helping us now hopefully we can get it done a little update we got three days left we just broke our streak we haven't seen an elk in four and a half days but we just spotted one so we're on the board again Big body on it. So is it a buck? No, it's a big toe. <laughs> I can't believe it looks that big though. That's a good spot. Who needs a window open. mount when you got yeah, these? You don't need a window mount. Those are totally overrated. This is the secret to finding the big elk. Yeah. See how many I found for you guys today? Yep. I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Ethan, our new elk guide. He's here to show us where the elk are at. Guide. Next destination, the top. He's a very ambitious elk guide.
right here. Oh, but that's the small bowl. Thanks. So I saw the big one. It was right there. Yeah, that's the small bowl. We got. If we're gonna have any chance, we gotta go like right now. We made a quick stock. We made a quick stock on those bulls and never got a good look at the bigger one. But Skyler says he was big enough for the last two days. So we took off, hustled out there, and we got there with like 10 minutes before shooting light was over and got as close to the knob as we could. But it's so thick in here, the cedar trees. We got to 350 yards and we couldn't have the elevation we needed to see down in to the little pocket they were in. So we had to just sit there and wait and hope they fed out into the one little open spot that we could see. They didn't do it, so. And I'll be going back in the morning, see if we can glass them up again and see what that thing was. I'm curious now. Tomorrow's the... It's the last day tomorrow. Day 15. Day 15 of hunting, day 21 of being out here, basically. I've been out here for a minute. Get him tomorrow. Yep, last, last chance. I gotta fill a tag. Day 15, last day. We need some luck, make this happen. Down to the wire. Let's hope we get lucky. All right guys, well, we got those. Same two bulls spotted from yesterday. Uh, just glassed them up. And gonna run down and make a move on them. Um, Nicole's tired and pregnant and it's been a long 15 days. She's taking a little nap. It's middle of the day right now. So we still have about four and a half hours until dark. So as long as they don't move too far and we can see them over there when we get there. It's super thick, but we're gonna go after him. Finally got a better look at him. He's a big solid bull, so. We'll see if we can get him. Turned up those bowls from last night. Same spot, but now we have three or four hours to work. So we're gonna get some elevation today. See if we can see down into the little hole they're in. Well, goodbye, Nevada. Maybe one of these days we'll get an elk off of you. <laughs> <laughs>